Time now for the Social Media Influencer Award. As a new category this year, it was down to the public to decide the winner. Our three finalists were challenged to use their platform to campaign for votes. Let's hear from them. So when the, the lockdown came and schools shut their doors to visitors, we as a, a charity, everyone in the team was determined to still do everything we could to support our schools and, and engage with the young people and help keep them active. The virtual mini Olympics this year uh, went on social media. We usually do this face to face as a big celebration event. Obviously that couldn't happen. It was brilliant to be able to still do an event that we're also passionate about. It's one of our kind of flagship events of the year as a charity. It was an amazing feeling to see that we could still have that impact, but sat behind the screen. So leading up to this point, I started Mental Health Runner just as a platform to help people really get active as a way of helping their mental health, as it was something to help me. I use social media to help others during lockdown by running up and down my stairs <laughs> in a lot of attempts. Uh, I did the Three Peaks Challenge, but I also ran a marathon in my yard to, to, again, try and help people stay active, stay motivated and talk about their mental health to normalise mental health, especially in probably one of the most abnormal conditions that the world's currently in. The group's called It's Not Just Aerobics. And when we went into isolation, we shortened the It's Not Just Aerobics to injures in isolation. And that's how it, how it came about, really. I just decided to take my classes online just to keep us all together, really. I was doing them three or four times a week. Like we'd have Manic Monday where we'd really go for it and aerobics on a Wednesday and then toning on a Friday. So it was like Fitness Friday, you know. The winner of the Social Media Influencer Award is Inspire Plus. Social media has become a real rescue parachute for both individuals and for organisations throughout this pandemic. And I think it's fair to say that Inspire Plus has used it to its absolute full potential. It's great to see that the Mini Olympics were in their 13th year and they're able to deliver it across all platforms. Thousands of interactions, so many unique users. That's what it's all about, making it a great positive experience online. <laughs>